Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are looking at function machines in our math journal. Well, what in the world is a function machine? Well, uh, basically what we're doing here is we're going to apply a rule to every problem within a group of problems. So that's why this uh, activity is called, What's My Rule? We're in our math journal on page 63, Unit 2, Lesson 13, the last lesson of Unit 2. So... Let's take a look at this first set of problems. So the rule states that I'm going to multiply everything in my inbox by 5, and that's going to give me my output right there. So if I were to set up each problem, I would have my number in an in box. My rule is multiply everything times 5, and then I get my output. Okay, input, output. Okay. Now, you'll notice that I don't have any inputs, meaning that I have no numbers in my inbox for which to multiply with. Okay. So, if I wanted to solve these problems, I would have to take some number and multiply them by 5 to get my output. So, some number times 5 gives me 25. Some number times 5 gives me 30. Some number times 5 gives me 60, and so on. So, what do I do with a multiplication problem with a missing factor? Okay, well, this is where we utilize our fact family triangles. So, for example, if I know that my product is 25, and I know that one of my factors has to be 5, and what I'm looking for is my missing factor, okay? And another way to think about that problem is that we are dividing, okay? So 5 times something gives me 25. If I reverse it, it's 25 divided into 5 groups gives me what, okay? So this is how we're going to frame our thinking, so what times 5 gives me 25? Well, I'm just going to skip count by 5s until I get to 25. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, that's 5 groups of 5. So up in this first box, if I plug in 5 into my inbox, and I multiply it by the rule of multiply by 5, I get the answer of 25. Okay? What times 5 gives me 30? Well, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, that's another group of 5, so that makes it 6 5s, okay? And if I skip count by 5s to get to 60, 5, 10, 15, 20, well, you can do it in your head, uh, I'm going to get 12 groups of 5, okay? That's how I do this. So what pattern do I see? I could say I'm actually... Skip counting by fives. Or I'm dividing the output by five. Either one of those answers would be acceptable. All right, so let's take a look at another rule. Okay, this rule here says multiply by 2 and add 1. Let's highlight that, and. Okay, so there's two parts to this rule. More than one rule. Oh, my. All right, so let's take a look at this first problem, this first in and out. This one is complete. So th they had an input of 2, and then the rule was multiply by 2, and then add one more. So 2 times 2, of course, is 4. And 4 plus 1, of course, is 5. So let's apply the same rule to 5, which is this number right here, my second number in my inbox. So I'm going to multiply the same rule. 5 times 2. Then I'm going to add 1. What does that give me? Now, these parentheses that you notice me writing in, this is to help me uh, 
order the operations, okay, to help me figure out what to do first. If I look at the rule, or rules, it says multiply by 2 and add 1. So the first thing I do is the multiply part, then I add the 1, okay? So 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 1 is, you got it, 11, okay? So I can't just skip count to find my answers, okay? I have to do a couple of operations to solve my problem. Well, let's do one more. 12 is my next input, so I would multiply 12 times 2. I'm going to add one more, and that's going to give me my answer. So 12 times 2. If you don't know your 12s uh, uh, times table yet, you can just add 12 plus 12 because that's what you're doing when you multiply by 2. I'm repeatedly adding 12. 12 times 2, of course, is 24. And then 24 plus 1 equals 25. Okay? So I'm just applying the rules according to the instructions. Okay? Now, problem number three should look familiar where we are converting units of measure. We did this a while ago. I think it was in lesson 110. So it was in the previous unit, lesson 10. So if you want to refer to those tables, those measurement scales, you can uh, go back into uh, your math journal or your home links or your SRB and check it out. But basically, what am I doing? Well, the rule says there are 12 inches in a foot. So if I have three feet, in order to figure out how many inches that is, I'm just going to multiply three times the number of inches in a foot. 3 times 12 gives me 36. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm missing something here. So, as you can see, on the left-hand side, on this third row, I've got 10. 10 feet. And if I multiply that by 12 inches per foot, I can get my answer. I'll let you figure that out. Or, if I have 204 inches, I know that I have to break that down into groups of 12. So some number times 12 gives me 204 inches. Okay, so what do I have to do for this box here? Well, input, output. I just have to come up with a number in my input and then solve for the output. So let's just pick a random number. 6. Okay, Bigger than 3, smaller than 10, it fits in between. So I'm going to multiply 6 times 12. Well, 6 times 12, as you may know, is 72. Okay, so all I had to do was I had to come up with my own number. Okay, and that's it. Now finally, in box number 4, it says create your own rule. Okay, and then fill out, fill out the blank what's my rule table below. This is where you get to use a little creativity. So you might uh, come up with a rule. Let's say you're going to multiply everything by 7. Maybe your rule is times 7. Or maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you have a different rule in mind. Maybe you want to subtract 12. Maybe that's your rule. Or maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe your rule is... You want to double the input. When you double the input, that means you're just basically multiplying times 2. So whatever your number is in the input, you double it. Okay? You can come up with whatever rule you want to. It's your rule to create. Okay? So have some fun with a little math creativity. You didn't know that math could be creative, did you? Well, you learn something new every day. If you have any questions about these function machines, these what's my rule type of problems, please reach out to your math teacher. Uh, otherwise, we will talk again soon, friends. Thanks.